Chapter 1. The Mysterious Island Arrival at Seabird Island It was a sunny summer day when siblings Alex and Lily stepped off the small boat onto the sandy shores of Seabird Island. Their parents had sent them to spend the summer with their aunt Lucy, who lived in the only village on the island. Alex, 12 years old, and Lily, 10, were excited to explore the island and have an adventure. As they walked towards the village, the salty sea breeze blew through their hair, and they could hear the distant cries of seagulls. The village consisted of a few colourful houses, a small market, and a cosy-looking bakery. The children noticed that the island seemed quiet and peaceful, with only a few locals strolling about. Aunt Lucy's cottage was at the edge of the village, surrounded by a beautiful garden filled with colourful flowers. She welcomed the children with a warm hug and a smile. Welcome to Seabird Island, my dears, she exclaimed. I have a feeling you too are going to have an incredible summer here. That evening, as they sat down to a delicious dinner, Aunt Lucy told them stories about the island's history, its mysterious legends, and the old lighthouse that had been abandoned for years. Alex and Lily listened intently, their curiosity piqued by the tales of hidden treasures and secret passageways. As the sun began to set, the siblings couldn't wait to start exploring the island. They knew that their summer adventure had just begun, and they were eager to uncover the secrets of Seabird Island. Exploring the village. The next morning, after a hearty breakfast, Alex and Lily set out to explore the village. They walked past the quaint houses, each painted in vibrant colours, and greeted the friendly locals. The villagers were warm and welcoming, sharing stories about their lives on the island. As they continued their exploration, they stumbled upon the small market. It was filled with stands selling fresh fruits and vegetables, handmade crafts, and delicious homemade treats. The tantalizing aroma of freshly baked bread led them to the cosy bakery, where they decided to take a break and enjoy some pastries. While they were eating, they overheard a conversation between two elderly villagers. They spoke in hushed tones about the old lighthouse, its mysterious past, and how some believed it was haunted. The siblings exchanged excited glances, knowing that they had to learn more about this intriguing landmark. After finishing their treats, Alex and Lily continued their walk, eventually reaching the edge of the village where the stunning coastline met the lush forest. They noticed a narrow winding path leading away from the village and disappearing into the trees. Intrigued, they decided to follow the path and see where it led. As they ventured deeper into the forest, the sounds of the village faded away, replaced by the rustling leaves and the chirping of birds. The siblings could feel a sense of adventure in the air, and they eagerly looked forward to discovering the secrets hidden within the heart of Seabird Island. Meeting the locals. As Alex and Lily continued their journey, they soon came across a group of children playing near a small stream. The children, curious about the newcomers, approached them with friendly smiles. They introduced themselves as Rosie Tom and Mia, three local kids who knew the island like the back of their hands. Eager to make new friends, Alex and Lily joined them, and the group spent the afternoon playing by the stream and exploring the surrounding woods. Rosie, the eldest of the locals, shared stories of the island's hidden gems, like the secret cove only accessible during low tide and the ancient tree that was believed to be the oldest on the island. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, the children gathered around a small campfire, roasting marshmallows and exchanging tales. Mia, the youngest of the group, 
shared a story she had heard from her grandfather about the old lighthouse. According to him, it was once the home of a lighthouse keeper who had vanished without a trace, leaving behind whispers of hidden treasure and ghostly apparitions. The flickering firelight cast eerie shadows on the children's faces as they listened to Mia's story, entranced by the mystery surrounding the old lighthouse. As the evening came to an end, Alex and Lily knew that they had made lasting friendships and that together they would uncover the secrets that Seabird Island had kept hidden for so long. Chapter 2 The Old Lighthouse The Abandoned Lighthouse the following day, Alex, Lily, and their new friends decided to investigate the old lighthouse. With a sense of excitement and anticipation, they set off early in the morning, following the narrow path that led them through the forest and along the rocky coastline. As they approached the lighthouse, they could see that it stood tall and solitary, its once white walls now weathered and worn by the elements. The once bright red door was faded, and the windows were boarded up, giving the lighthouse an air of abandonment and mystery. The children cautiously approached the entrance, their hearts pounding with a mixture of excitement and fear. Using a crowbar they had brought along, they pried open the old door, revealing a dimly lit staircase spiralling upwards. The air inside was musty, and cobwebs hung in the corners. Together, they climbed the creaking steps, their flashlight beams cutting through the darkness. As they reached the top, they discovered the lighthouse's main room, filled with old maps, nautical equipment, and dusty books. The once magnificent Fresmal lens was cracked, and the once bright lantern room was now filled with shadows and echoes of the past. As the children explored the room, they couldn't shake the feeling that they were not alone. The lighthouse seemed to hold secrets, stories, and memories within its walls, waiting to be discovered. With each step, they knew they were getting closer to unravelling the mystery of the old lighthouse and its connection to the island's hidden treasure. Strange Noises in the Night after a day spent exploring the abandoned lighthouse, the children returned to Aunt Lucy's cottage, their minds full of questions and theories about its mysterious past. They spent the evening discussing their findings, poring over the dusty books and maps they had discovered in the lighthouse's main room. Later that night, as the island slept, strange noises echoed through the darkness. The wind howled around the lighthouse, and the sound of footsteps could be heard on the creaking stairs. Alex and Lily, sharing a bedroom in Aunt Lucy's cottage, were awakened by the unsettling noises. Curiosity overcoming their fear, the siblings quietly crept out of the house, following the sound of the footsteps towards the old lighthouse. They noticed that the other children had also been drawn to the strange noises, and together they approached the lighthouse once more. The door, which they had left ajar earlier, now stood wide open, inviting them in. The children hesitated, exchanging nervous glances before finally deciding to step inside. They climbed the stairs again, their hearts racing as the strange noises grew louder. When they reached the top, they found the lighthouse's main room bathed in an eerie glow. The old lantern, previously dormant and covered in dust, now shone brightly, casting shadows on the walls. The children stared in awe, realising that something supernatural was at play and that the lighthouse was trying to tell them its secrets. The Hidden Room As the children stood in the lantern room, Mesmerised by the mysterious glow, they noticed a sudden draught of cold air. Looking around, they spotted a small, nearly hidden door behind a dusty bookshelf. Gathering their courage, they decided to investigate further, carefully moving the bookshelf aside. The door creaked open, 
revealing a narrow, dimly lit corridor. The children ventured into the hidden passage, guided by the light of their flashlights. As they moved deeper into the secret space, they could hear the faint sound of the sea crashing against the rocks outside. The corridor led them to a small, hidden room. The walls were lined with shelves filled with old, leather-bound books and scrolls. A large wooden chest sat in the centre of the room, its lock rusted and warm. Alex and Lily exchanged excited glances, realising that they had discovered a secret that had been hidden for years. Together with their friends, they opened the chest, their hearts pounding with anticipation. Inside, they found an old tattered map, marked with mysterious symbols and cryptic clues. As the children examined the map, they knew that they had stumbled upon something extraordinary. The secrets of the old lighthouse were finally starting to unravel, and they were now one step closer to uncovering the hidden treasure of Seabird Island. Chapter 3 The Treasure Map Discovery of the Map With the mysterious map in their possession, the children couldn't wait to share their discovery with Aunt Lucy. They carefully returned the bookshelf to its original position, concealing the hidden room, and then made their way back to the cottage. The following morning, they excitedly gathered around the kitchen table, spreading the map out for everyone to see. Aunt Lucy, who had always been fascinated by the island's legends, was thrilled by their find. She'd encouraged the children to try and decipher the map's cryptic clues and symbols. As they studied the map, they noticed that it detailed the island's landscape, with familiar landmarks like the lighthouse, the ancient tree, and the secret cove. Each location was marked with a mysterious symbol, and the map also contained a series of riddles, written in an old flowing script. Alex, Lily, and their friends spent hours poring over the map, attempting to unravel its secrets. They took turns reading the riddles aloud, discussing their possible meanings, and sharing theories about the map's connection to the island's hidden treasure. With each passing day, their understanding of the map grew, and the excitement in the air was palpable. They knew that they were on the brink of an incredible adventure, and they were determined to unlock the mysteries that had been hidden for generations. Deciphering the Clues Determined to solve the map's riddles, the children divided the clues among themselves, each taking responsibility for one of the mysterious symbols. They spent days researching in Aunt Lucy's library, scouring the shelves for any books or documents that could provide insight into the cryptic messages. As the days passed, the children started to make progress. Rosie discovered that one of the symbols represented the lighthouse, while Tom found that another symbol pointed to the ancient tree. Mia, with her keen eye for detail, noticed a hidden pattern in the map's border that led them to the secret cove. With each new revelation, the children grew more and more excited. They knew they were getting closer to uncovering the island's hidden treasure. As they pieced together the clues, they began to understand that the treasure was not only hidden somewhere on the island, but it was also protected by a series of challenges that they would have to overcome. Filled with anticipation, Alex, Lily, and their friends prepared themselves for the adventure ahead. They gathered supplies, studied the island's terrain, and practiced their problem-solving skills. They knew that the journey to find the treasure would not be easy, but they were ready to face whatever challenges lay before them. The journey begins. With the clues deciphered and their preparations complete, the children knew that the time had come to embark on their treasure hunting adventure. They woke up early one morning, their backpacks filled with supplies and their hearts full of excitement. Aunt Lucy, who had been a constant source of support and encouragement throughout their quest, 
hugged each of them tightly before they set off. Be careful, my dears, she whispered, her eyes shining with pride. You're all so brave, and I know you'll succeed in finding the treasure. As they left the cottage, the children felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. They knew that the journey ahead would be full of challenges and surprises, but they were determined to see it through. They followed the map's directions, which led them across the island, from the ancient tree to the secret cove, and finally to a hidden cave near the lighthouse. As they ventured deeper into the cave, the air grew colder, and the sound of the waves crashing against the rocks outside seemed to grow distant. The children relied on their flashlights to guide them through the dark, narrow passages, their hearts pounding with anticipation. With each step, they knew that they were getting closer to the hidden treasure. They were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, and to prove that they had the courage, strength, and determination to uncover the secrets of Seabird Island. Chapter 4 The Search The Mysterious Cave As the children continued their journey through the mysterious cave, they encountered a series of challenges that tested their wits and courage. They navigated through a labyrinth of tunnels, solved riddles carved into the cave walls, and crossed a treacherous underground river using a rickety rope bridge. Despite the difficulties they faced, the children worked together, relying on their individual strengths and their unwavering determination. They encouraged each other during moments of doubt and celebrated each victory, knowing that they were one step closer to finding the treasure. As they ventured deeper into the cave, they discovered an extraordinary sight, a cavern filled with luminescent crystals, their glow casting an ethereal light throughout the chamber. The children marvelled at the beauty of the underground wonder, feeling as if they had stumbled upon a secret, magical world. At the far end of the crystal cavern, they found an ancient door, adorned with intricate carvings and symbols that matched those on the treasure map. Their hearts raced as they realised that they had reached the final challenge in their quest. Gathering their courage, the children approached the door, ready to unlock its secrets and face whatever awaited them on the other side. They knew that they were on the brink of an incredible discovery, and that their perseverance and teamwork had led them to this pivotal moment. The Hidden Beach Cave after successfully unlocking the ancient door, the children found themselves in a tunnel that sloped gently downwards. As they followed the path, the sound of the waves crashing against the shore grew louder, signalling that they were nearing the end of their journey. The tunnel finally opened up to reveal a hidden beach cave, its entrance obscured by a curtain of vines and moss. The cave was filled with the scent of the sea and the soft, golden light of the setting sun. The children could hardly believe their eyes as they stepped onto the warm sand and gazed at the beautiful, secluded beach. There, half buried in the sand, they found an old wooden chest, its surface worn and weathered by time. The children excitedly gathered around, their hearts pounding as they realised that they had finally discovered the long-lost treasure of Seabird Island. Working together, they carefully lifted the heavy lid, revealing a trove of gold coins, glittering gems, and precious artefacts. Their eyes widened in awe as they realised the true value of the treasure they had uncovered, not just the riches within the chest, but the unforgettable memories and friendships they had forged along the way. With a sense of triumph and joy, the children celebrated their incredible journey, knowing that they had achieved something truly extraordinary. As the sun dipped below the horizon, they knew that their adventure would forever be a cherished memory, a testament to the power of friendship and determination. Unusual Findings As the children explored the treasure-filled chest, 
They discovered an array of unusual objects alongside the gold and jewels. There were ancient scrolls, ornate compasses, and mysterious artefacts, each with its own story to tell. They realized that the treasure they had found was more than just a collection of riches. It was a gateway into the history and secrets of Seabird Island. Intrigued by their findings, the children decided to research the origins and significance of each item. They took turns examining the artefacts and reading the scrolls, piecing together the stories of long-forgotten explorers, pirates, and island inhabitants who had once called Seabird Island home. Through their research, the children learned about the island's rich and colourful past. They discovered tales of daring adventures, hidden romance, and fierce battles that had shaped the island's history. They also found clues to the identity of the mysterious lighthouse keeper, whose ghostly presence had haunted the old lighthouse for generations. With each new revelation, the children gained a deeper appreciation for the island and its unique history. They knew that they had not only uncovered a hidden treasure, but had also connected with the island's past in a way that few others had ever experienced. As they shared their findings with Aunt Lucy and the island's locals, the children felt a sense of pride and accomplishment, knowing that they had played a part in preserving Seabird Island's rich history for future generations. Chapter 5 The Race Against Time The Unexpected Rival One day, as the children continued their research on the treasure and the island's history, they overheard whispers among the locals about a stranger who had recently arrived on Seabird Island. This mysterious newcomer, dressed in dark clothing and wearing a wide-brimmed hat, seemed to be asking questions about the island's legends and the hidden treasure. The children quickly realised that they were not the only ones interested in the treasure, and they felt a growing sense of unease. It was clear that this stranger posed a potential threat to their discovery and the island's history. With the stakes now higher than ever, they knew they had to act fast to protect their findings and ensure the safety of the island. Determined to stay one step ahead of their unexpected rival, the children worked tirelessly to decipher the remaining clues and learn everything they could about the island's past. They also took precautions to safeguard the treasure, hiding it in a new location known only to them and Aunt Lucy. As the race against time intensified, the children relied on their newfound knowledge and their unbreakable bond of friendship to stay focused and motivated. They knew that they had come too far to let a mysterious stranger jeopardize their efforts and the island's legacy. Narrow Escapes in the days that followed, the children encountered several close calls with the mysterious stranger. They narrowly escaped detection while visiting the lighthouse to gather more clues, and they caught glimpses of the stranger lurking near Aunt Lucy's cottage. Each narrow escape heightened their sense of urgency and fueled their determination to protect their discovery. Realizing that they needed to devise a plan to outsmart their rival, the children came up with an ingenious idea. They decided to create a fake treasure map, complete with misleading clues and false locations, in hopes of leading the stranger on a wild goose chase. They also enlisted the help of the island's locals, who were more than willing to assist the children in protecting their beloved island. Working together, the children and the islanders carefully set up traps and false trails, creating a web of deception to confuse the stranger. They left the fake map in a conspicuous location, where they were sure the rival would find it. As they waited and watched from a distance, they saw the stranger take the bait, following the misleading clues and disappearing into the dense island foliage. With the stranger now off their trail, the children breathed a sigh of relief, they had succeeded in buying themselves some time to complete their research 
and fully uncovered the island's hidden secrets. As they continued their quest, their friendship and determination only grew stronger, proving that together they were capable of overcoming any challenge. The final clue. As the days passed, the children continued their research, determined to uncover the last remaining secrets of the treasure and the island's history. One evening, while studying an old scroll, Lily discovered a hidden message written in invisible ink. With the help of a candle, she revealed the message, which contained the final clue they had been searching for. Excitedly, the children gathered around the scroll, reading the message aloud. It described the location of an ancient artifact, said to be the key to understanding the island's true legacy. Realizing the importance of this final piece of the puzzle, the children knew that they had to act quickly to retrieve the artifact before the mysterious stranger had a chance to find it. Following the directions in the message, the children embarked on one last adventure, navigating through the island's rugged terrain, dense forests and hidden coves. As they reached the artifact's hidden location, they were filled with a sense of accomplishment and pride, knowing that they had successfully completed their quest. With the artifact in hand, the children returned to Aunt Lucy's cottage, eager to share their discovery and the knowledge they had gained. They knew that their adventure had not only led them to a hidden treasure, but had also forged lifelong friendships and an unbreakable bond with the island and its people. Chapter 6 The Treasure Uncovered The Secret Chamber Armed with the ancient artifact and the knowledge they had gathered during their adventure, the children knew it was time to unlock the final secret of Seabird Island. They returned to the cave where they had first discovered the treasure chest, suspecting that the artifact was the key to revealing a hidden chamber. As they examined the cave walls, they noticed a small, almost imperceptible indentation that matched the shape of the artifact. Carefully, they placed the artifact into the indentation and twisted it. To their amazement, a hidden door swung open, revealing a secret chamber filled with an incredible array of relics and historical artifacts. The children stepped inside the chamber their eyes wide with wonder as they took in the countless treasures that lay before them. There were ancient manuscripts, detailed maps, and exquisite pieces of art, each one a testament to the island's rich history and the explorers who had once called it home. As they explored the chamber, the children realized that their discovery was far more valuable than any gold or jewels they had found in the treasure chest. They had uncovered the very heart of Seabird Island's history and were now the guardians of its legacy. The Golden Surprise As the children continued to explore the secret chamber, they discovered an ornate golden box hidden among the ancient relics. Intrigued, they carefully opened the box, revealing an astonishing surprise. Inside, they found a set of beautiful golden keys each one engraved with a symbol that represented a different part of Seabird Island's history. Upon further inspection, the children realized that the keys were not just symbolic, they were actual keys to hidden treasure chests scattered throughout the island. They deduced that these chests contained more than just material wealth, they held the stories and memories of the island's past inhabitants. Excited by their discovery, the children decided to embark on a new adventure, using the golden keys to unlock the hidden treasure chests and reveal the island's untold stories. They knew that this new journey would not only enrich their understanding of Seabird Island, but also strengthen their bond with the island's people and its history. As they set off to uncover the hidden treasures, the children felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude and responsibility. They knew that they had been entrusted with a precious gift, 
and that it was their duty to preserve and share the island's rich history with the world. With each treasure chest they unlocked, the children deepened their connection to Seabird Island and its past, ensuring that the island's legacy would be cherished and remembered for generations to come. A new beginning. Having uncovered the hidden treasures and the stories of Seabird Island, the children knew it was time to share their discoveries with the island's people. They'd organized a gathering at Aunt Lucy's cottage, inviting the locals to come and learn about the island's rich history and the incredible journey they had undertaken. As the children shared their stories and displayed the relics they had found, the islanders listened in awe and admiration. They were grateful for the children's dedication and the invaluable knowledge they had uncovered, which would forever be a part of the island's heritage. To honour the children's efforts, the islanders decided to establish a museum, where the treasures and historical artefacts would be displayed for everyone to see and appreciate. The children were overjoyed and eagerly offered their help in setting up the museum, ensuring that the island's history would be preserved and celebrated for years to come. With the museum's opening, a new chapter began for Seabird Island and its people. The children's adventure had not only brought them closer together, but had also united the island's community, fostering a sense of pride and appreciation for their shared history. As they stood together on the day of the museum's inauguration, the children knew that they had played a significant role in shaping the island's future. They had discovered the true meaning of friendship, determination, and the power of preserving the past, making their time on Seabird Island an unforgettable experience.